as I say, we have got David Davis, the former Shadow Home Secretary, in the studio now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, what about that argument that actually whatever else you do, you're not going to be able to ta tackle the fact that supermarkets discount unless you go for the Yeah, what, look, what the problem with this policy, uh, there's no doubt, I mean, Sarah's right, there is an issue to be dealt with in terms of the uh, a, a minority of the public who abuse alcohol. But this is a blunderbuss of a policy. It won't just hit those, it'll hit poor people, it'll hit people in the north, it'll hit the pensioner having their one bottle of wine a week, it'll hit the hard-up couple doing the same. Uh, and it's going to cost, it's going to transfer a billion pounds from the public to the people who sell alcohol. So it's not, and it's not going to work. If you look at uh, pricing across Europe, uh, in Germany they sell beer at a pound a pint cheaper than we have here. They sell uh, in Spain the same, in France the same. Uh, and they do not have this problem. There's a drinking divide in Britain, a cultural divide, and you will not solve it by this rather heavy-handed uh, sort of mass effect, uh, which won't actually stop mm. the problem. Well, well, you're not going to stop middle, middle, middle well, well, class. Please, please hold on, Dr yeah. Wollaston. The, the trouble, Dr um, David Davis, is that you do... I mean, you acknowledge there's a problem. Mm, of course. All the medics almost universally say the answer to that is to introduce minimum a uh, minimum price. Yeah, well, if, if I wanted medical advice, I'd go to a medic. This is a social policy issue. It's much more complex than just saying, oh, well, put the price up and it'll stop it. The simple truth is alcoholics are not uh, sensitive about pennies. The, gro the biggest growing group of alcoholics are actually middle-class alcoholics. Uh, so, you know, and this is not going to change the price of Chateau Lafitte at Checkers either. This is going to hit poor people. And there is a very, very large number of people who drink perfectly decently, perfectly properly, and they are not going to... and they're going to suffer from this because their incomes are stretched. What would you do? Well, a whole series of things. I mean, you'd, you should stop uh, 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 shops selling to underage uh, people, you should uh, uh, make pubs deal with people when they're when they're drunk. I mean, when we had when we had. When I mean, we had, arguably those things are being done already. Well, a bit, but not enough. I mean, when we introduced twenty-four hour drinking, which was another bad policy, uh, one of the things that the smarter chief constables around the country did was actually look at the, the areas where there were problems, where there were drunks in the street and so on, and they addressed the institutions involved and dealt with them and said, "We'll close you down if you carry on uh, with, this, with, the, with the mechanisms that lead to this sort of problem in the street," and it worked. It worked in Manchester very spectacularly. And you've got to do the same here. Can I just ask you, the way that we've heard this happening, we know that mm. the Prime Minister was really supportive, he was very clear about that. Mm. One of the suggestions this morning is that actually this is the power of Theresa May within Cabinet. <laughs> well, it's, what is interesting is it's a current Home Secretary and a past uh, Health Minister, and presumably they get advice... Andrew from their, Lansley. Yeah, they, they presumably get advice from their departments. You know, it's also Michael Gove, you know, Education Minister, Minister for Children, I mean, the man who's got more to care about in terms of what Sarah's been saying uh, than anybody else, and they all think this is a bad idea and you know, they're doing it on the basis of the evidence not you know, this sounds like a good idea well, until you look apart at the from what the medics are saying well the uh, medics are not evidence the medics are making an argument then they're, they're not actually presenting evidence to show that this works i've not seen anywhere that this works okay uh, david davis thank you very much i just want to return to dr Wall